Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune for the 23rd day of October 2018. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside. You can go over there and check out my blog if you like at imsteppingaside.com. Lots of fun things over there. I, I post these uh, videos in the left hand column uh, next to all of the blog posts. So you can always check it out over there if you like. Well, I wasn't here yesterday. I was feeling a little under the weather, so I was having a hard time talking without coughing. So I don't know if it was allergies or what, but a little elderberry tincture in my tea helps. Well, let's see. This is Tuesday. And being, and we're not doing the 20, we're not including the year in the numerology. So that's the year is a, a year of illumination, 2018 results in an 11. But today, we're looking at a six day. So that is higher self, influencing, harmony, balance, and all of that. So we will shuffle a little bit more here. And then I'll count 13 and we'll see what we have for today. I'm getting the last of my carrots in. I've been bagging up my uh, herbs for that I've been drying. I'm running out of jars, so I'm resorting to bags. But I'll finish up my carrots this week, and then uh, I think I'm going to probably freeze some and dry some. I want to make some. Um, I want to make this soup in a jar stuff you can make uh, meals in a jar. I don't know if you've ever seen that online. Um, they're kind of fun. Uh, you can you can uh, put oxygen absorbers in there and save them for you know it basically you can store it for years if you do that. But uh, I think I'm going to do some soups as well. I've done some uh, uh, tomato powder and some celery powder, and uh, I've done some uh, kale, some dried kale, some dried green beans. Um, onions, garlic, all of that. So I have all of the ingredients to just make up some jars, you know, with some soup fixings in them, some rice or noodles or whatever. And, and then you put the, the seasonings usually in a, a little uh, plastic bag and then you put them all in there. And then if you have one of those uh, uh, seal mill things or, or whatever it is they called, um, I have, uh, I have one and, and they have these jar attachments. And so you can uh, you can get both the wide mouth and the narrow uh, jar attachments, and you hook it up to the the little uh, seal a meal thing or whatever it's called. I don't remember what it's called. It's not called that. It's called something else. But um, uh, and it vacuums out the air from inside, and then you stick a little oxygen absorber in there before you do that, and then you know they're they're sealed for a long, long time, and they stay they stay good. So. A lot of the preppers do stuff like this. So anyway, I got that idea, I guess, from them. But uh, well, anyway, let's count 13 and see what we have for today. Well, we're going to draw another one because it's a court card. We have the Page of Cups. Sometimes called the Princess in other decks. Pages are about, uh, well, cups is about emotions, our emotional presence in the world. It's the water element. But pages are about new beginnings and undeveloped potential. So in a sense, this is undeveloped emotion or undeveloped passion, maybe. Well, now that would actually, passion would be, would be more the fire element. So that would be more like the page of wands or something. But basically, we're talking about uh, a young person who's imaginative, a student, a newsbearer, um, again, undeveloped potential, romantic, you know, maybe a little uh, artistic, maybe intuitive. But we don't really know uh, anything about this person. We don't know what really this is about. I mean, the page is just standing there holding a, a, a golden chalice out, looking at it, and there's a fish coming out of it, okay? I'm assuming that's for Pisces. 
but let's see what the page really is doing because we really don't know. I mean, is he reminding us to use our intuition? Is What is he reminding us to do? Well, here we I've, I've drawn the fool. So here we're talking about undeveloped potential, okay? That's probably what this is, all right? The fool is telling us that this page is starting out on something new, something that's emotionally based, so maybe intuitive. Maybe we're to listen to our intuition a little more, to that inner voice that tells us, you know, this is what's really happening, uh, offering love, perhaps. Uh, extending love and joy as we as we go about our day, um, but the fool uh, is telling us that 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 this is on the precipice of something new. So something new is on the horizon today. Um, let's see what the runes have to say though. I have to open my rune bag. Somehow or another, I got it tied really tight. <laughs> Now, my process with the runes is a little different. Of course, I don't draw 13 runes and take the 13th like I do the cards. That's just my process with tarot cards when I'm just pulling a card to look at them. If I just want a single answer or a single idea that's, you know, the overall influence for the day. I, I'm less about finding, you know, like, gee, am I going to get this job or something? I'm not really about outcomes so much as I am about process and about influences, energetic influences and stuff. So... That's how I look at all of this. Well, this is about, again about uh, again a new journey. So we've got Rado. Now Rado is the fifth rune of the Elder Futhark, so some change is in store, and that's the thing here with the water element. Water is about change. Okay, and sometimes change affects our emotions, doesn't it? Lots of fluctuations, maybe. But here with the fool, it's showing us that that something is on the horizon. So we're about to embark upon a new journey, <clears throat> possibly emotion based. But also the thing about Rado, and I want to look in the grimoire here about it um, so I get this right. Um, what I like about the idea of Rado is it's not just about the individual's journey, but it's the journey that's in concert with something else. So if you think horse and rider, you can think about the integration between the horse and the rider to get to move forward so that the horse knows what the rider wants, you know. So there's this there's this communication either through either through touch or pressure, you know, of their legs or or verbal commands or what have you. The rider and the horse are are in a, integrated together on that journey, right? Well, that's the whole thing about uh, about Rado is about finding one's true purpose. And again, this is a, a, a more what I, I, I like about it is about that it's about the process versus the goal, okay? And so when we're talking about undeveloped potential, we don't necessarily know where it's gonna go, right? So we want to take and we want to, whatever it is we're going to invoke today, we want it to be something that's in balance and in harmony. Uh, given that this is a six day, we want higher self to inform that process and we want to move about in harmony with others, seeing everyone as our other self instead of the other, like seems to be happening these days. Um, but basically it's about whatever we're going to do, that we do it in harmony, both within and without. And yeah, this is the one here that Rido helps to correct unstable situations. You know, it's about, um, and I think it's easy to, if, if you would go back to the horse and rider, you know, example, um, correcting an unstable situation means you have to work, at the, the rider has to work in harmony with the horse. Otherwise, the horse is going to buck them off, right? You're not going to go anywhere. Well, that's true for all of us, uh, both whether we're talking about just our, when our emotions are all over the place, we can't get anything done. We can't move forward because we're stuck in all those emotions, right? So what we're really trying to say here for today is we want higher self to inform this process. We want to stay centered and aligned and in harmony with others as we go about and activate and invoke our new potential uh, or undeveloped potential. Everything is new, no matter what. For, we live in the present moment, unless, of course, we're thinking about the past or something. You know, we live in the present moment, and all there is is the present moment. And so we're always in a in a we're always the fool beginning a journey, aren't we? In a sense, because it's always about undeveloped potential. We can 
have the ability to create anything that we want. Nothing is carved in stone in that regard. So whatever we want to do, we can accomplish today as long as we do it aligned in source presence, aligned in spirit, having spirit and form, and going forth in integrated harmony with others. So, not too bad, huh? Nice reading for a Tuesday. Well, listen, um, I'm going to be back tomorrow, I promise. I won't let my, I'll drink a lot of, you know, teas and things to get my throat better. So, anyhow, uh, have a lovely day today. Uh, go forth in harmony and joy and love and unity. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And blessed be.